this is Mr. Masonette, and in this tutorial, we are going to practice adding and subtracting integers. The four examples shown on the screen look rather similar to each other, and that is what can make adding and subtracting integers rather confusing at first. So let's explore how to add and subtract these problems using the number line shown below. The first problem reads 6 plus negative 5. So that means we have to start at positive 6 on the number line, which is located right here. And then we have to move backwards a distance of 5, which is really the same thing as 6 take away 5. So starting at positive 6, let's move to the left a distance of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That would place us at positive 1. The second example reads negative 6 plus 5. That means we must start at negative 6 on the number line and then move forward or to the right a distance of 5. So starting at negative 6, let's move to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And that would place us at negative 1 on the number line. The third example reads negative 6 plus negative 5 which is the same problem as the second example with one little exception. We just added a negative sign to that second number. So we have to start at negative 6, and then from there we have to move backwards 5 more. So starting at negative 6, let's move to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And that would place us at negative 11. And the last example reads negative 6 minus negative 5. So if we were to compare this example to the third example, the only difference here is that we change this addition sign to a subtraction sign. Now when you have an addition sign, it really means you do the same thing as what you see after that sign. So in example number 3, we had to do the same thing as moving backwards a distance of 5. But a subtraction sign means do the opposite. So we must move the opposite of negative 5. So instead of moving backwards 5, the opposite of that is to move forwards a distance of 5. So really this problem becomes negative 6 plus positive 5. Whenever you have a negative immediately followed by a subtraction sign, you have to change both of those signs into plus signs. So let's go to negative 6 and move to the right a distance of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, which would place us at negative 1. So this fourth example ended up being just like the second example. Let's solve the same four problems without the use of a number line. So for the example 6 plus negative 5, I'm going to start by drawing 6 positive signs and adding to that 5 negative signs. Now whenever you have different signs, what you must do is find the difference of the absolute values of each of the numbers. So if we subtract 6 and 5 with each other, that would leave us with 1. And the sign that we use for the answer is going to depend on what we had more of. And we had one more positive sign than we had negative signs. So the positives went out. So 6 plus negative 5 is equal to positive 1. Now example number 2 is the exact opposite of example number 1. We have 6 negatives added to 5 positives. And this time, we have more negatives than we have positives. Therefore, the answer is negative. And because we have different signs, we still must find the difference of the absolute values. 6 take away 5 is equal to 1. So we could say that we had one more negative than we had positives. And for the third example, we have six negatives added to five more negatives. 
Now, when your signs are the same, the rule is find the sum of the absolute values. The sum of 6 and 5 is equal to 11. And when the signs are the same, you must use that same sign in your answer. So if you were adding a positive to a positive, like regular addition, your answer would of course be positive. And a negative plus a negative will always give you a negative answer. And for the last example, we start off with six negative signs. And then we have to do the opposite of five negative signs, which is to draw five positive signs. And we have one more negative than we have positives, so the answer would be equal to negative one.